today I'm going to be doing another Vicky Vibes video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I haven't been wanting to film anything in a couple days. And so this is like um, my first video that I've made since I've been back from New York and I've just been chilling. Like it was a whole week that we were gone and anytime I go out of town, I have to give myself time to recoup because I mean, otherwise I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I would get sick as a dog and you know, just really tired if I don't take the time to kind of get my life back in order. Excuse my head. I have cornrows right now, looking like a jailbird. I am about to put a wig on. So um, I wanted to do my makeup before I put my wig on because I like doing it in that order. I'm going to go ahead and start using my Smashbox primer water because you guys know this is my favorite ever. So, in a post on Instagram, I asked you guys, what did you guys want me to make a video about? And of course, the majority of you said Vicky vibes. So, I'm like, you know, I don't know. I didn't really like any of the other suggestions. I mean, I did. There were some good suggestions in there, but I don't feel like doing any of them right now. And... The thing about Vicky Vibes videos is I have to have something to talk about to do with Vicky Vibes. And I know some people wanted me to make faith-based stuff and marriage-based stuff. And those are some really deep topics. Like, and they're really broad topics. Like, I can't just start talking about that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you kind of have to have like a specific something to talk about. Like, oh, talk about your marriage. What about my marriage? Like, I'm not going to sit here and just talk about Cameron. Like, nope. These Vicky vibes are really like spontaneous, so I'm kind of just like talking because I don't think that I have advice worth giving. I mean, obviously I have life experiences that people can learn from, but I don't think that I have like advice. Like I'm, I am the supreme woman of the century, so I have all the advice to give. No, I can just tell you guys what I think, but I don't, I don't expect you guys to take that and live by it. Please don't because your experiences are going to be different than mine. So yeah. So I just got a new foundation and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Why am I shaking? The Ultra HD foundation. I've never had the Makeup Forever HD foundation before, so I don't know how to compare it to this one, but I can just give you my opinion. So far I like it. Um, it's not mattifying, so I'm used to using mattifying foundations and that kind of threw me off when I didn't use one, but I like the finish of it. Really like skin-like foundation like when you put it on you kind of can't tell if you have anything on and I think that's what kind of made me upset when I first started using it because I was like this is like wearing nothing like I feel like I don't I didn't feel like anything was there but I guess that's the point because it's ultra HD the reason why I like this foundation the most though this one is because of the color this is my perfect color right now and some of you guys are wondering well what happened to your cover effects um, do you use your NARS by itself? You always mix your NARS. I mix my NARS with other things because of the yellowness. So if I have a foundation that's darker, but I found that I like the um, the consistency of it, I'll mix it with my NARS because I know that my NARS has a pretty good yellow base to it. So it kind of helps to balance out other foundations, but um, it's too light for me because I got a tan I'm kind of just like in between colors right now and I had to get something new so I got this one for the summertime this is my summertime color now um, and the color is Y455 when I'm not tan I am the color um, 173 which is Y445 I believe so it's one shade lighter this color works though I like it um, and I like the foundation I like the consistency of it it's very very good you know coverage it doesn't have heavy coverage um, and it goes on like skin so yeah well I got a lot of uh, requests for people to say for me to talk for me to talk about relationships and you guys I'm just gonna tell you right now I am NOT a good relationship advice giver because like whether you're in a relationship or not relationships are personal you kind of have to like know people know what they're going through and like know who they are and who the other person is and how they operate and i think this is the problem you have to think 
outside of yourself in relationships so it requires you to do a lot of research on a person and people don't want to do that research they just want the cute stuff um, and if you never take the time to like really like study the person that you're in a relationship with then you will like be very disappointed because you'll go through the whole thing thinking that they think like you and then when they upset you or do something that you don't like you're trying to figure out why they would do that because you're thinking that they think like you you know i always say everybody's their own person so i mean if you don't invest the time to learn how somebody else thinks then you'll pretty much be stuck in your own head and you'll be upset with everybody for the rest of your life when it comes to relationships you have to do a lot of research and i can't tell you how to do that that's something you gotta do on your own so that's why i'm always like confused as to what people want me to say when they ask for relationship advice because i'm like okay well did you do your homework because if you do your homework you'll probably find your answers but one thing that i'd like to give advice on is for like pe single people who are like looking to be in a relationship and it's like well how come i can't like find a relationship that i really like why can't why is there like nobody for me why why am I single basically? Um, well, I went on a date with this guy and he was weird or this guy spends too much time talking about dumb stuff and I just wanna have a deep relationship and I just want commitment and he doesn't, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that, he doesn't show me that he really cares. How do I know if he's really into me? How do I know if he's the one? How do I, like people, especially like girls i think have this just so bad it's like you want a relationship as soon as you meet somebody and that's like so unrealistic to me because it's like going up to a stranger and asking them for a hundred dollar bill like you can't just go up to a random person and be like hey give me your life people go into things with too many expectations like you waiting for some dude to come get you so every guy that comes up to you and talks to you you think he is trying to holla and trying to be your boyfriend may not be the case can y'all just be friends first like i'm just trying to figure out where the friendship is at because for me i mean maybe it's just because i never really had good friendships growing up so you know i wanted to have when i was you know at the age, the appropriate age, to like really want to be in a serious relationship. You know, I wasn't just like talking to random dudes, you know, just willy nilly, just because I wanted, you know, to be in a cute boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. No, I wanted a friend. I really just needed a best friend. I just needed somebody, somebody who kind of understood me on a deeper level than just, oh, you're cute, you know, or, oh, you're funny. You make me laugh. Oh, you dress nice. Oh, you take me on dates. Like you get me flowers. You I mean all of that superficial stuff that should come after you have that baseline of friendship. You know what I'm saying? And so many people skip that part. Like they're just like, I want to go on a date. I want somebody to buy me flowers. I want somebody to sit in my bed and watch Netflix with me. Well, I mean, you kind of have to get to know somebody before you do that. You know what I'm saying? So what makes you think that within a month of just talking to some dude, he's going to take you on a fancy date and spend $50,000 on you to wine and dine you? Like, that's a high expectation. And I always tell people, me, me and my husband, we we were friends for a whole year before we even pretended like we were dating like i didn't tell him that i liked him like as more than a friend i didn't tell him yeah well he told me he had a crush on me first but i didn't tell him that i had a crush on him until maybe seven or eight months into our relationship and before then we both were talking to other people so it's not an exclusive deal it's not like you become friends with some dude and all of a sudden he's required to only talk to you. Can y'all just get to know each other first and then maybe he'll come around and be like, okay, now I want you to be my girlfriend. Like, I mean, and I don't think that's a bad thing. And I think girls get so buttered about that. Like, oh, he was talking to three other girls while he was talking to me. Well, are y'all in a relationship? When did y'all meet? Like y'all just met last week. Like if y'all are not married, you're single. So if you're not in a going somewhere committed relationship and you're not talking about marriage, technically he's not tied to you. Even though me and Cameron kind of low key did like each other, 
like when I was talking to him um, and we were just friends, I was in college, okay? So I had just like, I was a freshman in college. He was already, you know, um, about to graduate or whatever, but I was a freshman. So of course I didn't want to be tied down in a relationship because I'm like a freshman in college. Like I'm fresh meat and all these dudes are at this school, you know what I'm saying? And this is like a whole new world for me. I'm not even trying to be tied down. You know, even though we were talking a lot, like we were talking every day, we were texting, we were FaceTiming, we were Skype, I mean, we were, we were, FaceTime wasn't around back then. Oh my God, I'm so old. We were talking and it was, you know, I could kind of tell it was going a little bit somewhere. Like it was like, oh, you know, he's actually really nice. And you know, we kind of hit it off or whatever. I wasn't like exclusive to Cameron. I was in school or whatever and I had like, four or five guy friends and probably three of them I knew for sure liked me I didn't care I was like look he ain't really he ain't really told me that he liked me yet so I'm chilling I'm not even worried about him I'm you know I got three other dudes that may or may not try to pursue me so I'm chilling I think people don't have that chill mentality anymore like they meet somebody and then they think that's it like this is the one I need to make sure to put all of my eggs in this basket because if I don't he might try to go somewhere else but then when he doesn't make that same commitment you're upset but honestly though like how much time have you spent with that person for him to just you know disregard every other woman in the world for you how much how much does he know about you to even consider you a potential you know what i'm saying and i think people they jump the gun and i mean I, i'm a true i'm a firm believer in it when you know you know when you know you're meant to be with somebody you know so i mean i'm not saying that people who date for a really short amount of time and then get married I'm, I'm not saying that's wrong if that works for you that works but don't expect people to think that way right off the bat you know what i'm saying i didn't expect cameron to like talk to me exclusively we had just met like no like it took me months to even find out that he liked me like I wasn't even sweating it people get so upset because these dudes don't they don't show this level of commitment that as women we want to see they don't show that immediately now the flip side to that is the dudes that want to take you on a date but y'all just met like hey shawty let me get your number kind of thing slide through my dms kind of thing like no every dude that tried to approach me with nothing on the table but you're cute like bye no I'm not talking to you like why would i waste my time with somebody like that you're just sexualizing me like the only thing that you like about me is the fact that you saw me walking down the street and you thought i was cute like that's not enough for me i need us to have some sort of level of friendship period for me to even consider getting in your car and going somewhere with you because i'm not driving so and that's another thing to me females don't let men work for them these days like this is um some foundation that i got from afra and um it's dark so i like using it to contour um and yes i still contour i don't do that strobing thing because i need to you know make sure that my stuff is blended okay yeah women these days don't don't allow men for to work for them they want to freak them dress in some roses you know what i'm saying like i'm just like if you want a serious going somewhere relationship you need it to be with somebody who is basically your best friend i mean i was never ever just gonna try and make something out of nothing so for me to just go on a couple dates with some dude and then be like dang i think he's the one that doesn't make sense to me because it's like at what point did he show you that he was worthy of anything that you're giving him it really frustrates me when girls want to like they've been talking to some dude for like three months and then all of a sudden they're ready to move in and cook and clean for him and share their whole life with him but how do you know you can trust this person he could be a catfish for all you know he could be pretending to be somebody completely different than who he really is three months is not a long time i feel like back in the day you could probably get away with talking to somebody for a month and then getting married to them and your life turning out pretty okay but nowadays people is crazy your man might be a woman for all you know you gotta be careful man you can't just be out here you know um trying to date anybody you know, especially when he hasn't shown you anything that lets you know 
that he's a potential boyfriend or whatever. I don't know. I just, maybe I'm old fashioned or whatever, but I just think that you need surface talk time. That's what my dad calls it, surface talk. You need surface talk time. You need time to just sit and kind of just talk on surface about things. Like, think of... When you meet a guy, think of him as just another one of your girlfriends. A friend, when you first meet a girl and you wanna be friends with her, every now and then you guys comment on each other's Instagram pics. Like an organic relationship should build. I don't think women do a good enough job of organically building relationships with men. Heck, I don't think we do that anymore with anyone actually. Everybody gets into relationships these days with a goal in mind like I'm gonna be friends with this person because they can do XYZ for me and I want to date this guy because he's gonna do XYZ for me and that's not fair because you're automatically heaping all of this responsibility on some dude who doesn't even like you yet like can y'all like just like each other first before you fall in love like go and not even go on a date can y'all just go to like Starbucks and get some coffee and then go home after can you just see him in passing and say, hey, what's up? And then keep walking? Like, why does it always have to be so formal? I think people make, you know, a relationship formal from the jump. Like, you can't do that. You cannot expect a man to be formal with you and you just met him. So I just want you guys to be more aware of who you're dating. Everybody hates that, you know, phase where you're just like learning somebody like, oh, what's your favorite color? You know, um, what's your favorite movie kind of stuff like they hate those conversations but those conversations need to happen they need to take place in order for you to kind of understand that person um i'm gonna use this their real mascara by benefit and this is the blue color and i've been looking for a new blue mascara so i'm so glad that this um ended up in my hands i love i used to love blue mascara i used to wear blue mascara all the time back when mascara was the only makeup that i could wear blue mascara was bay to me anyway so but yeah that's my relationship advice guys don't go on dates with people unless y'all are like really close friends like i would not suggest going on a date with somebody you don't know ever because one it's not safe well not a date by yourself if you go on like a group date or whatever that's cool but like especially if nobody knows the person but you like you just met this dude and nobody knows who he is you don't know his family you don't know anything about him don't go on a date with him you don't know who that man is he could be crazy if you let somebody in your life that quickly like you only know so much about a person until they crack and it takes certain pressure to make people crack some people can take a lot of pressure some people can take a little bit of pressure so i mean you don't really know somebody until something bad goes down and then whew. i was friends with cameron for a whole year and then we dated for three years before we even got, before we even started planning to get married. And even in that three years, I still didn't learn every single thing there is to know about him. So that just goes to show you that if you meet somebody and then within a week, you're already ready to marry them, you don't know squat about that person. Like, you don't know anything. Like, it took me three years to learn the basic stuff about Cameron. And then when we got married and moved in with each other, it was like, Oh my god like i still didn't know certain things about you that i know now that's my only relationship advice is don't date people that you don't know and don't get don't don't get into a serious relationship with somebody if you're not already best friends with them like if the guy that you're talking to is not your best friend then y'all don't need to date yet y'all need to spend some more time together and if he never becomes your best friend leave him because you're gonna hate your life if you try to try to make things work with somebody who isn't your best friend somebody you can't talk to like you should be able to tell the person that you're dating you should be able to tell them everything like no secrets like you should be able to tell them all of your fears all of your flaws they should know everything about you these people these days are a different breed like there are some different people on this earth the, the world has changed so quickly within a short period of time you never know what you're gonna get so i just really want you guys to be very very careful with who you're talking to be careful guys i think that is i want to wear a different blush today i wear the same blush all the time i think i want to wear love joy i haven't worn love joy in a while. 
my skin is clearing up pretty good too so I think that I can wear more shimmery stuff so wig time oh well no not wig time do my lips first so I got some liquid lip colors from Afra I have really pretty ones these are the two that I've been rocking recently that I really like is Sao Paulo and this one is Mocha mute up my lips for Oh man, I really need to get my mustache wax. I can never tell how bad my mustache is until I do my makeup and I'm like, oh crap. Have I been walking around looking like this for that long? And a little bit of mocha. Just to kind of darken that up just a tad. think that I'm done there. Ooh, these braids is terrible. I'm a terrible braider, guys. I am not a braider. So, this is my kinky straight wig. So this is the wig that I wore in the video where I was talking about my new shirt, my new t-shirt. Straightened it and I put a little bit of color in it as well because I wanted to give it a little life. Well, hey, son, you're trying to come back out? I see you. I think I'm feeling this wig, guys. What do you think? Do you like? So, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys in my next one. And yeah.